Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my fairy treasures. Can we turn this like that? Just one second, you guys. I'm just quickly just making sure my filming's in order. Just a second. Okay, you guys, I'm doing, I have a lot of things to show you. I'm showing you guys some happy mail, um, something that I bought from Hobby Lobby, a gift. It's a Tilda doll I made for my husband. Yes, a boy Tilda. Um, some milk jars that I painted. Um, a couple other things. Just a lot of different things I've made and I needed to make a video. So I'm going to kind of make one long video on a numerous amount of things. But the first thing I want to do is get to the happy mail. Um, Yolanda from So Crafty 100 sent me some happy mail. And it was, um, I think last week it was for Christmas. And um, I'm just now getting around from last week of receiving it to being able to, to um, YouTube this. So you guys, so sorry. Um... So sorry, Yolanda, that I haven't done this sooner. So sorry. Um, but I'm going to get to it now. I, I, did go ahead, I did go ahead and I opened it and looked at everything. And I already um, personal messenger and think turn everything. But I told her I would definitely do a video. Okay. First of all, I want to show the beautiful card that she made. Gorgeous. I love this card. God, it's beautiful. I love the paper she used. I love the doily behind here. And then this little... Um, Oh, what do you call these? You guys know what you call these? Oh, darn, I can't think of it. It'll come to me. Um, this beautiful flower, and then she used um, glitter on it. Some type of glitter. That's really cool. And then another small flower. Anyway, it's gorgeous. And I love the little birdie down here sitting on the uh, berries. It's just really pretty. It says joy to the world. Gorgeous card. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then she wrote me a nice little message inside. So, love that, Yolanda. Very nice. Very, very pretty. Um, she made a little tag to Angie from Yolanda. Love the tag. It looks very vintage. Love that Santa Claus on that. Very cool. Okay, then let's see. Let's see. It's in this box. This is what the box looks like. Very cute box. Looks like she made it. I love it. Oh, I love this. She made, a, like, just gave me a bunch of goodies. Ribbon. And then she made me some tags that I can use on other packages. I love that to and from. Look how cute that tag is. Oh my God, I love these. Oh my gosh, these will be so good for necklace. She made me like four or five of these. Fabulous. Love it. Okay. Oh, that's a great thing. And I'm packing away my Christmas stuff right now. So that'll go into my Christmas box for next year for sure. So I can put those on some gifts. Okay. Let's see what this is. I looked at the... I looked at it, but I hadn't looked through it yet. I love Happy Mail. Yay. So fun. It's so neat that someone has actually just taken their time to think about you and send you something. So sweet. So sweet, Yolanda. So sweet. Okay. Let's see what's in this package of goodiness. Oh, these are cute. This is trivia game. Oh, it's cute. It's a Christmas trivia game. So it's asked these questions. Oh, that's cute. There's like five or six cards of the trivia game. You could use in journals. You could just play a game with them. These are so cute. I love those. Okay, so that's what those look like. And then on the back is the question and then the answer there. That is so cute. Um, again, she got me some of these, which I love. What are the name of these, you guys? Why am I not thinking of the name of them? It's insane. Anyway, snowflakes. Got it. I kept wanting to say icicles, snowflakes, and the same thing on the card. Okay, got it back. Snowflake there. Okay. Anyway, these are pretty. Love them. I can definitely pack those away with my Christmas stuff and use them for next year. These are so cute. Look at these little rhinestone mittens and then a rhinestone, what are they calling this? Like, um, like holly, like holly and a, um, little Christmas ornament. Super cute. You guys, I got these. I love these. I'm so glad she, she decorated them up and gave them to me. They're so cute. They're little salt and pepper shakers. You get them at the um, dollar store. And um, she put a little thing that said, um, oh, a bunch of little tags that say love on them. Oh, that's cute. That's not going to my Christmas. That's just going in for journal making. I love that. And then these are a bunch of like little rhinestones and little things she put in here. Super cute. Love it. Oh, this is, oh, this is neat. I like that. It's a gym sticker that says family, love, and sharing. Love that. Love a little red paper clip. 
She gave me a little green one. Oh, and they have words on them. They say Noel. Oh, and Pope. Oh, these are so cute. I love the little red bows. So much of this stuff is going to go into my, oh, my Christmas stuff next year. Um, really cute bingo card. Love this. It says family on it. That'll be so good in my journals. Love that. And you guys know me. I'm going to make a copy of that so I have a whole bunch of those on cardstock. Okay. When I send you guys, like, I like to send ephemera out. I always say, uh, make a copy of it. Make a copy of it so that you can always have it um, before you use it. Okay. I might need to. One second, guys. I don't know if I need to get a pair of scissors or not. Um, just one second. Let me reach across. Sorry about that. And get some scissors. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm in one of my junk shirts. You know, if you're around your house, you just wear sweats and whatever. Okay. Oh, she gave me a bunch of candy. I love it. Okay, I, I won't take all the candy out, but I do want to show you this. So, flipping cute. Look how cute this is. It's a sled. She totally made this. <gasps> Tell me, is this a, um, this has to be, I don't know. Is it a die cut that cuts out all the pieces? Oh my God, you guys, look how cute that is. So cute. If that's a die cut, I totally want that. And look at, there's the front. There's the front of the sleigh right there. Then she put some cocoa in there and candies and all kinds of goodies. In fact, I'm going to keep this little, I love, I love, uh, Mr. Goodbar. I know that's so old school, but I love that candy. I'm going to uh, keep that one out because I'm going to eat that after this video. Okay. I am loving that. And I'm not going to put this back in there. I love this. So cute. I love sleds. So, okay. Uh, I think we're almost at the end. Yes, we are. And then she gave me, um, what are these? Let me open this up. Okay. They're red. Are they these? Oh, these are neat. Oh, I like these. I can use them in all kinds of ways. Like red little berries. Oh, this is really cool. I'll definitely put this with my Christmas stuff for next year. Really cool. I love it. Thank you so much. I love all this stuff, Yolanda. This is fabulous. So exciting. Thank you so much for thinking of me and sending me all this yumminess. I love everything. Everything. So awesome. All right, I'm going to put all this back in the box. And like I said, Yolanda, so sorry that I took so long to making this video. Life starts happening and time just runs out. Okay. Let me put this away in here too. And I want to put this on top so it can get bent up slight. Okay. So that's Yolanda's happy mail. Thank you so much again, Yolanda. Like I said, I love it. Okay. Next, I want to go on to some things that I've made. I made this for my husband for Christmas. Let me make sure that my video is still in. Yeah, perfect. Okay, what this is, is this is a book, and I forgot to say, hopefully maybe I remember whose video I got this from, but she said she got it from Sunset Magazine. So, but I, remember, I wish I could remember the girl at the girl's channel who I got this from. Maybe I'll remember throughout the video. Anyway, what you can do with this is, it was a book, but you guys see that, and I decorated the book. Of course, the way I love to do things, I love to like um, copy, dye, and bake, um, music note paper, and then rip it in pieces, fairly large pieces, because I don't want to work with small pieces, and decoupage it on, onto here for a cover. I do that with a lot of different things. So look how pretty that turned out. So that's the book. And even that's kind of ripped, and I'm going to rip it some more, because I loved, you know, ripped, torn things. So, okay. So then what you do is you open up the book, and you start folding the pages let me see if I can show you into itself. So like every page, this is folded and it's folded into itself. So you do that and you, and until you meet up into the middle. And then as you do this, it creates this uh, waterfall effect. that goes like this. And then I went ahead and aged all the papers with, um, what did I use? Tim Holtz, um, 
Did I use rusty hinges? I, I think I mixed them. I, I hit them with rusty hinges, but I also hit them with vintage photo. So see how all the edges look real like they're old? I wanted to make sure it looked aged. Then I took all these index cards and I um, coffee baked them at 400 degrees. I need to get specific about it because a lot of people are asking me about that. I, cough, I, I, I dipped this in coffee, 15, 20 minutes. Then I baked it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes on 400. And it gives a real nice dark, you know, contrast and a really dark, yummy, yumminess to the paper. Okay, so what these cards are for and what this whole thing is for is for many things. I mean, you can use it for anything. And the reason I created it for my husband was is he's always going on um, Facebook and he's always finding really good um, sayings. And he's always telling me them. But he, and then I go, well, we need to be writing those down. And then they're quotes, not sayings, quotes. And then we don't write them down. So now he has a place to collect his quotes. So we keep it in the bedroom. And whenever he gives me a new quote, um, I hurry up and write it down for him. <laughs> so it's kind of a present that it's for him, but he always collects these quotes, but he doesn't write them down. So my present to him is to write his quotes down and keep them in this. And we keep it in the bedroom. So, but you can do this for anything. You could do this for your goals, your wishes, your dreams. Um, you can use it as a... Um, What's that thing where you're a bucket, a bucket list? Um, so this can be used for a lot of different things. So I just love how it looks. I love how aged I made it look. How old I made it look. You know, I guess you know, I love old vintage looking things. So anyway, love how this turned out. Gave it to my husband for Christmas and he really liked it. And we've already started using it. There's quite a few quotes in there already. Next thing for my husband I made was a Tilda doll. I know you guys are like, what are you talking about? That you made your husband it tells it all because that sounds ridiculous but me and my husband do um bank track roller derby like the old school from like the 70s and um and actually it's older than that i think it started like in the 30s so it's been around for a long time um but we do that one that everyone can probably relate to is from the 70s we do that we're on a team called uh the bombers uh san francisco bay bombers and um he kept saying, make me a, he kept seeing all these Tilda dolls. So he kept saying, well, make a Skeeter one, make a Skeeter one. So I finally made a Skeeter one. And I thought the one to make would be this, this longer one, like this one right here with the lanky legs. It kind of reminds me of my husband. Not like that he's lanky, but he's really tall. Like he's 6'3", and he has really long legs, really long arms. And um, I just thought that this doll kind of represented him just because he's so tall and long legs and long arms. So let me just make sure you guys can see it. Bring it up a little bit. So that's the doll. Isn't it cute? I'm going to zoom in so we can kind of go through things. The black on the top is not a scarf on his head. That's the helmet. That's to represent the um, helmet that we wear. That black thing on the top is the helmet. Okay, now that jersey, I made that big huge like jersey oversized jersey and then i went to a place here in las vegas that does um that will uh you know you can get whatever you want put onto a shirt so they designed i showed them what our jerseys look like and they made it small like they did it on the computer they miniaturized it and then they i don't know how they did it pressed it or whatever they do now they pressed it on the shirt or whatever they made like you know i, I shouldn't even try to say what they did but they went ahead and copied my, our shirt onto this little miniature and it turned out so cool isn't that so cute you guys and he's number 38 that's exactly what our jerseys look like then I made a pair of orange shorts then we wear black tights with white socks and they're not tights they're spandex and then we wear white socks and um, with an orange stripe they're not exactly like that but similar and then I made the skates in the bottom now it, on the skates it looks like a um like I have some pins in there. I don't know if you can see those or not. That's because I hadn't decided, I hadn't figured out how to put the wheels on yet. But I think because the wheels are rubber and they weren't sticking even with E6000. And then I couldn't sew them on because they were too thick. So anyway, I think rubber cement's going to work. So I'm about to do that. So that's kind of why you guys see those pins if you see them. But anyway, I think this turned out so cute. I'm going to kind of bend the legs so you can see that better. See, here's the... Here's the knee pads, which I think turned out really cute. The socks with the orange stripe. The skates I made. And then I put the little white wheels on. I think it turned out so cute. Love it. I want to show you one more thing on the back. Um, he's called, could be, um, we're called Bells on Wheels. 
because our last name is Bell, and we both he's on the men's team and I'm on the women's team. We all play like at the not at the same time, but like we play four periods and they play four periods like that. So anyway, they call us Bells on Wheels. So I think that's kind of cute. So I put that on the back of his jersey and his number. So I think this turned out so cute. Okay, next thing that I want to show you guys is oh, is this? Just one second. I'm gonna switch you guys over to here for a second. Let me get some set up really quick and then I will be back. I know you guys are hearing me going, what the heck is she doing? Okay. I am back. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. All right. What this is, isn't these so cute? You guys, they're teapots. And you know if they're teapots, I have to have them because I love to collect teapots, teacups, anything tea related. I drink tea all day. Just love everything to do with tea. So anyway, um, these are so cute. They are um, wind charms. So you'll hang it up like this and all this stuff hangs. Isn't that so cute? So let me just come from the camera here. Here's this part. And then all the way up. And look at, so this is the teapot, of course. And then these hang from the bottom of the teapot. And it's the um, teacups, the spoon, and another teaspoon. Oh, my God. I think it's so cute. This was $14.99, but I got 50% off. Okay. And then here's this one. So cute. Okay, so here's the teapot. Here's the string in the teapot. And then as I keep going up, there's the cups hanging at the bottom, and the little teaspoons. Oh my God, is that so cute? I love it. So I'm gonna hang these up in my room. Even though I'm supposed to go outside, I wouldn't dare put those outside. They are going up in my room somewhere. The only thing I wish is that one of these was pink. Oh my gosh, why isn't it pink? My, so much stuff in my room is pink, but they didn't have any pink ones. And I still love these colors. They're very Chevy chic, they're very vintage, so I'm good. Um. Two other quick things I'm going to show you guys. They're in the, they're already in their spot that I always keep them in, in my room. So I'm not going to move them to the middle of my table. I'm just going to move the camera. Okay. So bear with me. There's my doll or my husband's doll. Okay. Excuse me while I zoom in and out to get this right. Okay. I think this turned out so cute. Look at all the pink. In fact, let me move my camera. You guys just bear with me. I'm totally moving my camera everywhere. I want to get a better view. Okay, perfect. Way better view. Um, that is a one of those uh, round trays that move around. Um, a Lazy Susan. I covered it in book pages and um, music note paper. What I think decoupage, I think turned out really cute. I took a little box I've had in my room for a long time, covered it with um, with laces and beads and ribbon. Kind of take that off of this, so you guys can see it. I think that turned out really cute. Can't really see it when I moved it. You can see it better there. Okay, and then all of the um, I love all the uh, all of the uh, jars. I'm trying to think what they're called. God, my mind is just, you know, when you make a video and your mind just, I don't know what happens to it. <laughs> anyway, I took all the jars like everybody's been doing and, um, and painting them. So I did them in pink and, um, a off white, like antique white color. And then I, um, went ahead and put laces and flowers and all kinds of stuff. And this is now what I keep all of my, um, scissors and pens and, you know, all that stuff that you use every day. So that's how this one looks. Just kind of show you a few of them separately so you can see them. I think that turned out cute. Didn't that turn out so cute? Okay, let me show you another one. I won't go through all of them because they're all kind of similar, but just want to kind of show you how some of them turned out. I think that looks really pretty. Made a little flower, made my own flower center, lace. I think that turned out real pretty. Uh, let's go. Let's show you this one. How that one turned out. Let me go back a little bit. There we go. 
and that one turned out really pretty i love it. it's all pink i love the pink lace around it the homemade oh that's not a homemade flower center that's actually something i got at a garage sale but there's a little pink rosette that i did caught at hobby lobby on there i think that turned out really pretty Let's see one second that's one of my faves right there okay <coughs> excuse me Mason jars. That's what I was trying to say earlier when I was talking about jars. <clears throat> How the heck can I forget the word mason jar? Amado's favorite thing in the world, mason jars. Um, this is another one I painted pink. I think it turned out gorgeous. I used a rosette from Hobby Lobby, homemade center, some pearls. And I just think they turned out really, really pretty. And I made a lot of them. Like, I think I have... Let me show you one more way back here. I made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fit on this whole thing. So I wanted there to be plenty of room for all my little knickknacks that I'm using. So I think that one turned out so pretty too. Okay, another thing I did, which is right beside it, is I had this wooden caddy for quite a while. And it was broken and falling apart. So I um, kind of nailed it back together and also used wood glue and got it back together finally and painted it pink. I just think it looks really pretty. And just... You know, I it, it holds my little the little scissors. It holds some it holds all my distress. Not all. I have a, almost. I have almost every distress ink that Tim Holtz has. But the ones I use all the time, I keep in there. Um, I have some homemade glimmer mist in there. The ones I use all the time, of course, my E six thousand. I put two little milk glasses in there to hold more stuff to kind of keep things organized. So just all the little stuff that I use all the time are in there. So. Um, I wanted to show you that. And there's one other thing I want to show you guys. Okay. Do you see that little um, action figure in the back? <laughs> I'll show it to you guys. All right. That's me. It was supposed to be a representation of me. My husband ordered me a, um, he ordered me my own um, action figure because this guy makes action figures. So he ordered them, one of him and one of me, and this guy made them. Oh my God. He did a fabulous job. You guys, is that so flipping cute or what? <laughs> not that I'm cute. I'm not saying that. I'm saying just the way he made that thing. It's so cute. I mean, my hair, I have extensions. So I have uh, black, dark, 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 dark brown, black, caramel, and a little bit of blonde highlights in my hair. And it's all extensions and it's all wavy. And he made it look like that. And then my jersey looks like that. And um, just my body style is similar to that. It's just funny. How he did all of that. And then my skates and he did the laces. He did a phenomenal job. So anyway, I just wanted to um, share those few things. I think I, I'm just trying to think if I got through everything. God, there was so much I felt like. But I got through everything. So that's it, you guys. Um, I hope everybody's having a great new year. Um, if you guys haven't subscribed to my station, I'd love for you to do so. If you could give my video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Um, for those who don't know, I'm sure everybody knows by now, but I have um, my own Etsy store. It's called My Fairy Treasures. It has a lot of really cool vintage pieces at great prices. Nothing's probably over $250 in there. And you get lots in each package. So um, you can check that out. The link is always going to be below. Um, I'm going to put, uh, Yolanda who did, who gave me my happy mail, her link will be below. You guys have to check her out. She's a very, very, very talented crafter. Very sweet woman. She was on my design team this year. She did beautiful, fabulous work. Um, so definitely, uh, check her out also. I will put her link below and I think that's it, you guys. Okay. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye-bye.